All right, everybody, we're back at IAPA. We're here with Mark Rosenzweig, the managing director of Sky Coaster, and we're here to talk about the new Sky Sled product from you guys. Absolutely. Um, so, Sky Coaster, uh, 25 years now in the industry. We just wrapped up the 25th anniversary celebration um, where we had patches sewn on the flight suits and uh, you know just kind of look back at the iconic nature of the attraction. We've flown over 25 million flyers worldwide. I think six continents. We haven't quite hit Antarctica yet, so we're still working on the penguin market. Ah, but uh, that'll be a new harness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they need to be smaller harnesses. I think we're yeah. meeting with SeaWorld later, so uh, All right. I love we'll it. See. Maybe we can we can work on something. But mm -hmm. so here's our new sky sled harness, and it's a seated harness. So for 25 years, we've flown people in a prone superhero position. Uh, so now we have the ability to fly people in what could best be described as a flying hammock. It's super comfortable. We have two sizes. Uh, we're still experimenting with the sizes as we go through test phases, and this, uh, the green here, the small, we believe is going to be a little larger than you see here, and the large orange, we're going to end up being a little smaller than this. I think that'll be in our sweet spot. And the, uh, the experience, totally different from the existing flight. So most people are just horrified at the winch up. That's A lot of people will say that's the scariest part of the ride, even more so than the free fall of the flight itself. Mm -hmm. Because they're watching the ground get a lot smaller. And uh, for a lot of people, even seasoned coaster enthusiasts, that's a lot to take. So yeah. now we have you sitting upright and you're looking out on the horizon. You're seeing the view. So depending where you are, you're seeing uh, Millennium Force from at Cedar Point. You're looking right at it. Or here at Fun Spot Kissimmee, you might be looking at Spaceship Earth or maybe a fireworks show. I don't know. Oh, well, oh, a fireworks yeah. show would be cool. Um, you gotta and hit that sweet spot of uh, going up at nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. Holiday wishes. Mm -hmm. So um, when you pull a ripcord on this, big difference because now your weight's behind you, and depending on the weight distribution and the wind, wind speed and direction, you can actually twist and drop backwards. Oh. So we'll go head over heels. Oh. We we're testing it on the 300 footer a couple nights ago, and it is terrifying in a most delicious manner. <laughs> it, is a, it is the greatest free fall experience I have ever experienced, and I'm a very seasoned rider. I've been on all different types of thrill rides, um, but it gives a very, very different flight experience from our front, our front suits. Why is that so important? Because it offers existing sites and new sites the ability to sell both ride experience. So now if you have a flight priced at X, you can bundle a flight package and have both flight experiences in one ticket. So it's a way to kind of bring back some energy to the ride. Very cool. Now, how difficult is it to to uh, transfer from the sky sled to the traditional harness with the uh, the clips and everything? Oh, okay. So we basically we have this new uh, stabilizer bar here, and this is used both for single and double flights. Unlike the traditional prone suit, we're only going to be doing up to two people at a okay. time, not three, because the, the suits are considerably wider. So we need that um, for the space. Uh, that's available up in the lift. So here we're gonna have, just for display, we have Omega carabiners, but we'll have flight carabiners at all the attachment points here. And then the top attachment is the same attachment we have now with the front suit. So again, okay. it, it's, um, the major goal with this was to introduce a new ride experience while having all of the hardware compatible with existing sky coasters. So if you own a sky coaster, there's no modification needed to be done to the ride. Essentially, this can be offered on your existing ride. So you can have alternating groups. You can have a prone group, then a sitting group, and a prone group. So, All right. So this bar is going to swing down with you guys. Yes, exactly. And this will be brought out to the lift by the assistant controller or controller. And then this will initially, the first thing that gets connected to the flight carabiners up top, and then the harnesses will be connected to the bar. Now, uh, as far as suit-up time, is it similar, longer, shorter with the sit-down version? It's going to be similar. Um, there's a little bit more work that goes on on the lift. Whereas yeah. in the front version, you're pretty well suited up at the flight suit area. Now we're doing about three quarters of the flight suiting at the flight suit area, and it then folds back and clips to your back. So you're almost backpacking out to the out oh, to the lift. It's not it's super comfortable. It's not heavy or anything mm -hmm. like that. And then when when you're up on the lift, it gets unclipped. This will fall uh, fold back down. And then once you're hooked to the flight carabiners, the uh, the assistant controller will announce flyers, of course, are going to fall away. Please sit back in your harness instead of don't grab onto anything. And then normally you would fall forward in the front mm -hmm. suit. Now we're sitting back in a seated suit. So, And then all the other adjustments will, will be done at that point, like the foot bar, shoulder straps, and the leg loops as well. Very cool. It well, seems I, fun. I like it. I like it's different. I like that you guys are uh, sort of taking a spin on the Sky Coaster, throwing it on its head. It seems terrifying. It would be, it would be very frightening. It, it really is. And, and again, I think above all, it works with all existing hardware, and it is a completely different and very thrilling ride experience from the existing one. 
world. So I can't say I like one more than the other. They're both very different and great. Now, what do you do with your hands while you're, yeah. you're on this? Because I know with the sky coast, you're supposed to like lock arms right. and things like that. Where do your hands go on this here guy we here? have these loops sewn in right here. Okay, so you oh, have, you have like have grab handles. You have the okay. oh crap handles. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. <laughs> like when I'm driving the car. I was gonna say the things on the car, like when the uh, mm -hmm. when the girlfriend's driving, you're oh, like yeah. oh, oh yeah. crap yeah. handles, same kind of thing. It's right. fiance, you're getting married. Oh yeah, that's true. Get your verbiage right. Ah, hope she doesn't watch. Yeah. <laughs> Might not be fiance. I'm not going to send her this one. All what, right, guys. What's the fiance? Yes. <laughs> Former fiance. Yeah, right. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Mark, thank you. We can't wait to yeah. see this out on the market and give this a whirl and try not to poop myself. Absolutely. That's a good goal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 